Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to show you how I made this adorable teacup bird feeder. I found this cup and saucer at my local thrift store. I just really love the pattern. I love the little scallop edges and the yellow and blue. Um, and I thought it would be a great addition in my garden as a bird feeder. So what you're gonna need is your cup and saucer. You'll need a screw. and a washer and you just want to make sure that the screw um, the head of the screw won't just fit right through the washer you want to be able to secure the washer with the screw and then I used a spare piece of wood to do my drilling on and then you're also going to need a dowel I got this one from Home Depot And then don't forget your safety equipment, so glasses and a mask. And then to drill the hole, I used a diamond tip drill bit. I will put links down below if you're interested in these. And I like to use a little bit of duct tape where I'm gonna be drilling the hole. It just gives the bit a little bit of something to grip onto so it's not just sliding around the, the plate. So I like to go in at an angle in the beginning and start the hole at an angle and then once once that grips in and starts the hole then I'll um, slowly move it upright and I let the drill do the work I don't press too hard on the drill just so that I don't break the plate I then repeated that process with the um, teacup. And then just to show you how this is going to work, so first you'll put in your washer into the teacup and then um, your screw. So you can see how the screw doesn't just fall through the hole. Um, that's very important. And then you will put that through the saucer and then you'll drill that into your dowel and that's going to keep everything nice and sturdy and hold it together really well. So here I'm just showing you how I drilled my pilot hole for the screw. Pretty straightforward. And then I wanted to test everything out because I still wanted to um, do something with the dowel. I wasn't sure if I was gonna paint it or stain it. Um, so I went ahead and just kind of did a, a, you know, a test run to make sure everything was gonna work out how I had envisioned it. So I lined the cup and saucer up with the hole and then had the screw and the washer inside the cup. Then I use my screw gun to uh, screw it in place. So as you can see, it holds it on there really well. It was not gonna fall off. I was pretty satisfied with uh, how that worked. And the good thing about doing it this way, instead of gluing it, 
is for one you don't have to worry about the glue failing and um, the pieces uh, falling and breaking but also you can take this completely apart to wash it if needed So I went ahead and I took everything apart and I decided to stain the dowel. I used a stain called Ash. And this is what it looked like after staining it and I let it dry overnight. And I was happy with the color. I think it looks really nice in the garden. But you could paint this um, to match your cup and saucer if you want. There's a lot of different ways you can paint it. I think it'd be really cute. Just make sure whatever you use does have a component to weatherproof it. So this stain does weatherproof the wood as well. So if you're going to use like acrylic paints, you might want to put a sealer on top of that. So now I um, just screwed everything back together so that I could place it in the garden. So I decided to just use a plant pot that I filled with soil to stick this um, to stick the dowel down into and then I put rocks around the outside of that just to secure it because I wasn't sure where I wanted to put this in my garden and this way I could move it around. But if you were going to put it um, just directly in your soil you could always use a rubber mallet and hammer the dowel in before you screw your cup and saucer on or you could put like some sort of metal stake in the ground and then zip tie um, the dowel onto that to help secure it but this worked really well um, the, the base is heavy enough that it wasn't going to blow over or anything like that and just within minutes the birds came to it so after I put the bird seed in um, I just kind of set my camera up and let it record the birds and they seem to be liking it so far. I think these would be adorable to have like an eclectic grouping of different patterns and colors of cups and saucers in the garden. I think it would be really whimsical and cute. So that's about it. I will leave a little bit of footage here of my birds that I uh, caught on camera. I really hope that you like this video. Let me know if you try this um, in the comments below. Let me know how it went for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.